Personality clusters. Cluster A, odd or eccentric cluster. Paranoid personality disorder, schizoid personality disorder, and schizotypal personality disorder. Cluster B, dramatic, emotional, erratic cluster. Antisocial personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder. Cluster C, fearful or anxious cluster. Avoidant personality disorder, dependent personality disorder, and obsessive compulsive compulsive disorder. Paranoid personality disorder is a mental health condition in which a person has a long-term pattern of distrust and suspicion of others, but does not have a full-blown psychotic disorder such as schizophrenia. Causes of paranoid personality disorder are unknown. The disorder appears to be more common in families with psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia and delusional disorder. This suggests that genes may be involved as well as environmental factors. Also, the condition appears to be more common in men. Symptoms of paranoid personality disorder consist of very suspicious people. As a result, they severely limit their social lives. They often feel that they are in danger and look for evidence to support their suspicions. They have trouble seeing that their distrustfulness is out of proportion to their environment. Common symptoms include concern that other people have hidden motives, expectation that they will be exploited by others, also inability to work together with others, social isolation, detachment, and hostility. Paranoid personality disorders diagnosed based on a psychological evaluation that assesses the history and severity of the symptoms. Treatment is difficult because people with this condition are often very suspicious of doctors. If treatment is accepted, talk therapy and medications can be effective. Histrionic Personality Disorder Histrionic personality disorder is characterized by long-standing pattern of attention to behavior and extreme emotionality. Sometimes someone with uh, histrionic personality disorder wants to be the center of attention in any group of people and feel uncomfortable when they are not. When, while often lively, interesting, and sometimes dramatic, they have difficulty when people aren't focused exclusively on them. People with this disorder may be perceived as being shallow and may engage in sexually seductive or provocative behavior to draw attention to themselves. Individuals with a histrionic personality disorder may have difficulty achieving emotional intimacy and romantic relationship, relationships. They often act out the role in their relationship to others as the victim or the princess. Uh, they may seek control of their partner through emotional manipulation or seductiveness on one level. I don't think I want Symptoms of histrionic personality disorder. A person with histrionic personality disorder is uncomfortable in situations which, in which he or she is not the center of attention. Interaction with others is often characterized by inappropriate, sexually seductive, or provocative behavior. They usually display rapidly shifting and shallow expression of emotions. They constantly use their physical appearance to draw attention to themselves. Researchers do not today do not know what causes histrionic personality disorder. Most researchers believe that there are several different causes that go into effect as to why histrionic personality disorder occurs. occurs. One is the biological factors. The second is the social factors, like as in the family and friends. And then the third is psychological factors. They... Uh, this suggests that no, no single factor is responsible. Rather, it is the complex and likely intertwined nature of all three factors that are important. Treatment of histrionic personality disorder typically involves long-term psychotherapy with a therapist that has experience in treating this kind of personality disorder. Hi, I'm Evan Johnson, and I'm going to talk to you about antisocial personality disorder. That's what it's called in the DSM-5. It's also called the dissocial personality disorder. This is the one you should be afraid of. So what is it, and why should you be afraid of it? Well, it's a complicated personality disorder with a lot of different aspects. Uh, among them are a constant disregard for other people's rights and happiness, a complete lack of morals or empathy for your fellow man, impulsive and aggressive behavior, and being very deceitful and quite charming. The danger comes in the combination of these symptoms. Because they have no empathy or remorse, they are completely indifferent to the harm that they cause to others. 
because of their impulsive nature, they're not always looking far enough into the future to actually care about silly things like being put in jail or getting the death sentence. So laws don't really affect them all that much. They're also extremely aggressive and so are very quick to get into fights, which they do not do in any kind, clean, or fair fashion. Again, they lack the empathy to care what happens to you, and they lack the foresight to know that the law will definitely catch them and get them in trouble. So killing you doesn't really have any negatives for them. Here are some examples of why this is such a difficult disease to deal with. This is Bob. He is both the best arc that I have ever made and a man with antisocial personality disorder. Bob will show us how the reactions and choices of those with antisocial personality disorder do not line up with those that don't have it, and what problems that can cause. First, we'll have Bob watch some movies that we're all familiar with, and we'll see that he doesn't quite respond to them the way that he probably should. We made it! We made it, Mother! We... Mother! Nothing. No remorse. No empathy. Nothing. Now let's say you meet Bob on the street. You are just walking down, enjoying your day, and you happen to see him coming towards you. And he sees you. And he sees that you have something that he desperately needs. With no real regard for laws or empathy for you, what do you think is going to happen here? Thanks for watching. This was Evan Johnson talking about antisocial personality disorder. OCD is an anxiety disorder characterized by intrusive thoughts that produce feelings of uneasiness, apprehension, fear, or worry. People who suffer from OCD also suffer from repetitive behaviors aimed at reducing the associated anxiety. There are two facets to OCD, obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are the thoughts that cause the anxiety and compulsions are the behaviors implemented to reduce the anxiety. Common symptoms of the disorder include excessive washing or cleaning, repeated checking, extreme hoarding, relationship-related obsessions, aversions to particular numbers, and nervous rituals, such as opening and closing a door a certain number of times before entering or leaving a room. Scholars generally agree that both psychological and biological factors play a role in causing the disorder, although they differ in their degree of emphasis upon either factor. Advocates of psychological factors influencing or causing OCD argue that moderate versions of compulsive behavior may have had evolutionary advantages. As far as biological causes, OCD has been linked to abnormalities with the neurotransmitter serotonin, although it could be either a cause or an effect of these abnormalities. Serotonin is thought to have a role in regulating anxiety. Formal diagnosis for OCD may be performed by a psychologist, psychiatrist, clinical social worker, or other licensed mental health professional. To be diagnosed with OCD, a person must have obsessions, compulsions, or both, according to the DSM. Obsessions become clinically significant when they produce recurrent and persistent thoughts, impulses, or images that are experienced as intrusive and that cause marked anxiety or distress. Compulsions become clinically significant when a person feels driven to perform them in response to an obsession in order to avoid psychological distress. Why is all my stuff all organized? Yeah, I like it everywhere. Dude, are you okay? Why? It's, 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 not, it's not a right spot.